In the energy markets today here at the CME, natural gas is down a percent, crude oil is up a percent, but we're going to focus on crude oil for one specific reason. Traders and active investors often talk about round numbers being psychological level, and right now crude is above $60. That is a psychological level, but it's a little bit more than that. WIT. WTI traded solidly above $60, meaning with some volume, spent most of the day above there. We broke $60 yesterday, but fell back in toward the close. We broke $60 on September 16th and 17th, but fell back. That was the Saudi Aramco attacks, which took some of the production, global production, offline, spiked above there, fell back within two days. And $60 has failed multiple times, representing the top of the range that we've been in since mid-May. The bottom of the range, down around $52, but still the top of the range, it's a wide range, but it's the top of the range nonetheless, and we're staying above there right now in toward the end of the day, again, with decent volume. So it becomes not only a psychological level, but the top end of the channel, something we wanna watch at a close above there is significant, especially if over the next few days it rallies higher, pulls back and then that holds. A lot of technicians will look at that as a reason to get in at that level for the next new range to be established higher. Take a couple of days to see if that happens. Now on Friday, there was an IEA report, that's the International Energy Agency based in Paris, France. They reported they expected demand to fall in 2020 by about 700,000 barrels. Now they were likely accruing their data prior to the announcement of a U.S.-China phase one trade deal, prior to any movement on USMCA, there hasn't been movement on that yet, prior to any U.S. deal with Germany on trade, with Japan on trade, those two things haven't happened yet in any official capacity, so it could change. But as of right now, if you have a fall of 700,000 barrels in demand, and OPEC has upped their production cut by about 500,000 barrels, that's a basically a net increase to inventories. So it could be part of the reason that crude oil has struggled mightily to get above $60. Could be another reason that it may not hold. We'll see over the next few days if it, do if it does. And it's also why they're important every week, but the API, American Petroleum Institute, and the EIA, the Energy Information Administration here in the US, both reports are critical this particular week, API coming out this afternoon, EIA tomorrow morning, to see if we get a sustained move higher. We had a surprise build in the EIA last week, still had refinery utilization stick slightly above 90, so we'll be watching those two things as we move forward.